Anyway, we're walking through Kowloon Park. It's pretty neat. And we're gonna go over to, it's called like Marina or something. It's like a mall or something, but it's basically like on a pier, basically to the southwest of Kowloon. Before you get to Victoria Harbor. And it's not on the Hong Kong Island side, it's on the Kowloon side. So we're gonna go check that out. Okay, so we are going here. Through here. Uh, so we tried to go to the uh, Bank of China observation deck, which apparently closed three years ago um, on the 43rd floor. So today we are going to go to the Sky 100, 360 degrees from the city's tallest building. I like the tallest of everything, so that's what we're going to do right now. Modern video is, of course, it's been two days since we've been here, but <laughs> uh, no, actually, I'm sorry, one day. So I showed up here where well, we showed up here yesterday, uh, and the woman's like, Oh, I'm sorry, the entire floor is reserved. And I knew that because I actually looked online to find out what we were making for it. So she was gracious enough to give us a 20% off discount card, which I then forgot this morning, today, when we left. So we didn't have it but they were awesome. I said, look, do you remember us from last time I had 20% off card? And the first girl said, no, we can't give you a 20%. And the other girl said, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Just, and she talked to her in Chinese or Mandarin, something like that. Cantonese, sorry. And, uh, and told her what buttons to push to give us 20% off, which then yielded a ticket price of 150 Hong Kong dollars or 300 for two of us or approximately $38 US. So, now you're going to join us. This is Only Child Observatory. Oh, okay, so that's, this is actually kind of interesting. So, this is where we are right now. Um, and uh, this is the building that we'll be going up in, which is 2003. Uh, and this is the, <laughs> this is without labels. <laughs> We're on the right. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> seconds to the 100th floor. We're at 34, 35, 36 seconds. Sure enough, 67, 8 seconds. Yeah, you get, definitely got to, oh, that's the south deck. This way, this way. Ta -da. Thank you. This is great. <laughs> we are not sharing this with a lot of people, so this is awesome. I completely missed this, unfortunately. So this would be the cow. Oh, wait a second. This is the Hong Kong side. And then this is the Kowloon side. Am I right? So if you've ever been up in a tall building, you have uh, obviously seen the uh, things they have on the wall that talk about the other buildings in comparison to the height of the building that you're in. And so this is no different. And so this one, they list the top 10 uh, tallest buildings at the time. 
And so I wanted to just go through those. So one being Burj Khalifa, uh, second Shanghai, uh, the third one being the Royal Clock, uh, Clock Tower uh, in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, Pin Ang in uh, Shenzhen, uh, and then uh, the Lati World Tower, One World Trade Center uh, over in New York City, and then Guangzhou Financial Tower, Taipei 101 at number eight, and then um, coming in at number nine uh, is the, the Shanghai World Financial Center, and then number 10 being the one that we're in here, which is Sky 101, the 10th tallest building as of 2018 when we were in this building. And since then, 2018 and 2019, three buildings have actually knocked it out of place. In fact, if you go to Wikipedia, and I'll put the link below, uh, this building is now the 13th largest building in the world. That's a pretty cool effect. And look at this, look at all that construction. All that real estate that used to be whatever else. Prime real estate. We did the... Um, what were the towers called in Kuala Lumpur? The Pemex? No. They're named after the oil company, I think. Anyway. Those were high, those were kind of cool, and the observation deck that we saw in Ho Chi Minh City was pretty cool too. But I think this is better. Now, the other thing too is that, of course, there has to be some flex to this building. So if you hold on, yeah, you should be able to feel it move. Because, of course, if it doesn't flex, then it snaps and falls over, which is not what is gonna happen. But this is pretty, so that's Victoria Harbor. Uh, this is, we are on the Kowloon side. That's Hong Kong Island over there. And that is the peak that we were at earlier, right there with those antennas. But you can't see it well at all. But the whole thing, uh, we pretty much have uh, probably about a 320 degree view today because I believe only one of the smaller uh, rooms is actually taken up by a, pardon me, taken up by a, a private event. So, we get to experience almost all of it. You know, I will tell you, everywhere we go, there is excellent signage in Hong Kong, which I really, really appreciate. I meet the cutest girls in Southeast Asia. <laughs> This is actually kind of nice. I mean, obviously there's opportunity to spend money up here, but it's a really pretty epic view of the city. Now again, you might not like epic views of cities or even any view of a city, really. But as I've mentioned before, man, I am not a city guy, but something about cities in Southeast Asia, I just thought it was Bangkok. Ho Chi Minh City, though, I like Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong and Kowloon a lot better than I like Ho Chi Minh City. But I don't know, I might, uh, I might like Hong Kong as much as I like Bangkok. It's pretty, pretty awesome. I wish I could point out where we're staying, but I'm not quite sure. Although, I think that's right there is Kowloon Park, so that would mean... Mm, am I right? Uh, maybe. But I'm trying to think what buildings were near. And there's two of them that have two big antennas on them. And I cannot make them out from here. Uh, anyway. Yeah, almost every piece of real estate used up, right? Now, what's interesting is these harbors. And I noticed this big time when we were down on the... South Island, 
but I mean, you can see, obviously, there's a whole bunch of, you know, barges and working boats and that thing. And then you'll see, or maybe you can't see, but you should be able to see, you know, some private sort of ones right about there. And for sure, there's, uh, you know, luxury power boats that I've seen cruise around. I mean, not gigantic, you know, like a, you know, but they're probably 30, 40, some maybe almost 50 feet long and moored like right next to uh, tugboats and barges and dredging machines and cranes. And it's just sort of, sort of an odd combo. Uh, but to be fair, it's not like it's a yacht club. These guys are probably getting a smoking deal on mooring their boat there, right? though Victoria Harbor Hong Kong Island Actually, so you can buy uh, a postcard, right? And then they have these like rubber stamps there. So you can put that on the address and then send them. It's kind of cool. Neat little cars. I mean, when I was a boy, that definitely would have been something. This Toyota Crown Comfort Taxi, I would have loved to have had that. that would have been cool. so, all right, so there's a tour that's leaving now, so we're going to wait for them to leave. The boss will dig that. That's kind of neat. <laughs> Remove before flight. All right, there we go. Time to exit. Thank you. 